Hey guys, I hope you're having a good day. I wanted to go over a couple things, um, kind of exciting stuff that's happened that's going to maybe um, make you guys a little bit less stressed here at the end of the semester. So first thing is Mr. Humphreys, our principal, sent out a message and you really need to read this, read all the details. I've got it pulled up on the screen here, but um, you need to go through and read this because it does apply to you and your finals. So what basically our school board has said, because of COVID-19 this year and trying to reduce the level of stress, this is only due for this semester, maybe next semester, it's not for sure next semester yet, but for this semester, if um, you make a 50 or higher and you have no missing work, which means you have no zeros in your classes, then you can exempt your final exam. So what does that mean? That means you have to take it. You have to take your EOC. You have to take your final exam. But if you have a 50 or higher on the exam and you have no missing work, no zeros in your classes, then that test does not have to count. Now, if it helps you, um, we will count it and it, you know, we want it to help you. What we don't want is for it to hurt you. Okay, so again, there's an email from Mr. Humphreys. You can read all the details there, but I wanted to go over that. Um, also, I wanted to make it clear that the last week, next week is a full week, but next week is the last full week for students. So the last week, the week of finals, your exams will be due by Wednesday night. Okay, that's different. Um, Thanksgiving week, we had some due dates that were different. In my classes, there's been extra credit that had different due dates, but typically most of our due dates are Friday night at midnight. If that's the case with finals, then teachers would have to work over Christmas break in order to get their grades done. So it's been said um, the whole school is going to make everything due by Wednesday night which you should have nothing to do that week except your finals. So you just need to schedule your finals when you're going to take them each day so you don't feel stressed about those. But having to make only a 50 on them should help a little as well. But you do have to have those complete by Wednesday night at midnight. Okay, that gives us Thursday to get our grades turned in. And that gives uh, Miss Arnold and them a chance to make sure everybody's in the correct class for next semester. All right, last thing I want to mention is if you participated in Spirit Week and you earned what we call as Wolf Bucks or Spirit Points, you can cash those in in increments of five. So if you have at least five Spirit Points, five bonus points, you can ask your homeroom teacher for a code if you don't know what that is, and you can give that to one of your teachers. Okay, so if you want to use your extra credit points from Spirit Week, you need to do that by next Friday. Next week is the last full week, so a lot of things are going to be due next Friday. Okay, kind of want everything to be complete except for your final exams. Okay, so if you have makeup work, if you need to get work turned in because you have a zero in a class and you don't want your final to count, make sure you're talking to your teachers and you're, you know what you need to do to get on top of that. Um, I feel like my students in my class, you guys should be on top of it already. I know a lot of you guys redid some stuff and did some redos over um, Thanksgiving week. And uh, several of you guys have emailed me the last couple days to do the extra credit. So thank you for reading that. Thank you for wanting to participate and do the best you can. So I hope everyone has an awesome week. I know these last couple weeks tend to be a little bit stressful because you're trying to cram in everything and get your grades up and all of that. But hopefully knowing that as long as you make it 50 and you don't have any missing work in your classes, no zeros, you can't just submit something. You have to submit quality work. Um, you will not have to count your final exam unless it helps you. If you have EOCs next week, again, you do have to take those. But again, those will only count if they help you. Okay. All right. Have a great week. 
I'm back, guys. One last thing. Miss Arnold's getting ready to send out some information. If you want to change a class for next semester, you need to let her know right away. Okay, she's already getting schedules ready. If you're happy with your schedule for next semester, you don't have to do anything. But if there's a class that you want to take, um, or a class that you don't want to take, as long as it's not a requirement, you need to talk to Miss Arnold and get on that um, by next week. Have a good day.